For nearly 20 years, actress Missy Peregrim has played strong female characters on TV and in movies. Peregrim has portrayed a rebellious gymnast in Stick It, a police officer in Rookie Blue, and a vampire hunter in Van Helsing. The actress's latest role brings her to New York, yay, to play special agent Maggie Bell in the new CBS drama FBI. In this, in this preview, rather, of tonight's premiere episode, Agent Bell interrogates a bombing suspect who's creepy. Wilmer, at some point, you and I are going to sit down and discuss exactly how you got involved with MS-13. Who jumped you in, what choices you had, everything, but not right I now. I told you that. Stop. Just... We have you on camera. So take a deep breath and let go of any hope you have of talking your way out of this and tell me who gave you that bomb. Something tells me it's not going to end well for him. <laughs> Missy Peregrine joins us at the table. <laughs> Missy, we're glad you're here. But listen, right when she sat down, people out there, you told us the best mm -hmm. news. Your sister's in labor. Labor right now. Yes. Is it her first baby? No, it's not. It's the third, but I was there for the second one. And so oh. I'm like, oh, man. So I just well, keep FaceTiming them. The, oh. that, that's big news, but this is news, too. <gasps> yes. Because here you are, the lead, lead person on the FBI show. It is very, very intense, and you are a badass on the show. Thank you. You are used to beating people up, taking names, and taking numbers. So how do you deal with the intensity of this role? Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. I, I would say that Maggie is a professional. She's done this for so long that there's, uh, there's a confidence that she has. She knows how to deal with people, and she's not overly emotional with everything that she's yes. doing, which is different than roles I've played before. And uh, that's kind of saving me with this, with not being too overwhelmed with everything. Because you said you have a passion for justice, which I, I think do. is, what does that mean? It means I like the truth and I want the right thing to be uh, done when something wrong has happened. And uh, I want people to be heard. I really think it's, it's valuable and that their heart is seen. So in all of these episodes, this is what we're dealing with. How do you go to badass training? Yes. You're learning it. <laughs> there you go. Not that you may not already be one yourself. Yeah, but... I might have started with a bad attitude when I was younger. <laughs> we just kind of matured a little bit. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, we're then the pathway of life. But I mean, on the F <laughs> what did the FBI agents you worked with tell you about how to do, how to be yes, that person? Yes, yeah. uh, Well, I was pretty late to the project, and so the other cast got to do some more stuff. But we have Dan the Man, as I've nicknamed him, on mm -hmm. set. He's an ex-FBI agent, and he kind of takes us through how to do things, um, more interrogation stuff and how you deal with people, which I find fascinating. There's tactics with that and how to get the truth. Um, and in terms of, you know, pulling a weapon and, and uh, all that other stuff. What did you do that you didn't know before? What are the what tactics? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you that right now. This is my Why? superpower now. Oh, yeah. okay. We'll talk later. I, I like okay. the show avoids politics and instead really focuses yeah. on the incredible work that the New York... Um, FBI does. Yes. And then they really do. I mean, people, the FBI is such an incredible mm -hmm. organization about how they protect people. I mean, did you get a new appreciation from, from the work that agents do every day? Yeah, I, I feel um, like I've always had a lot of respect for law enforcement because yeah. of that. I think it's a huge sacrifice to be going out um, and you have no idea what's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. uh, this in particular is different for me. I mean, I didn't even want to watch the news, no offense, mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. two years because it was overwhelming for me, all yeah. the stuff that was happening. I was so afraid of, oh, yeah. this could happen to me and this yeah. could happen to yeah. me. Uh, taking this job scared me so much because yeah. I knew that I was going to be going head into some of the most uh, traumatic and difficult situations. Uh, I'm really, really proud to portray these people who are on the ground, who work tirelessly yeah, to sacrifice yeah. with their families and their emotional well-being, honestly, to face yeah. these things. Well, we're glad you've moved to New York, and so is your dog. And your dog is <laughs> having a little bit of an adjustment problem, I hear. Yes. Uh, there's no grass to go to the bathroom <laughs> on. So yeah, uh, we didn't really know what to do with that. But now she just will take a weed and... Crack and she goes. And yeah, she's adjusted. Yes, yeah. but there's a menu of smells yeah, for any dog. Yeah. That's really. also true. Walks take 400 hours. Yes. yes. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Thank you, Missy Peregrine. Thank We're thank glad you. you're here. And good luck to your sister later today. Thank you. FBI premieres tonight at 9, 8 central right here on CBS.